Welcome to the review by DJSPRC. Today we're doing a different uh, modification to my STXS24 here. We're going to go with uh, a yaw racing metal rock rails for the SX24. Of course, it won't want to zoom for zoom in, but focus should I say but is the AXCS-041 from Real Racing I had a set on it before that one of my friends 3d printed me um, they're nice but they are 3d printed uh, they can break as easy but the Yaw Racing are steel And they have their logo on it. Comes with this plate too. This plate will bolt directly to the main chassis. And these guys will go on it that way. Gives you a little bit of an adjustment on it. The kit itself provides you every screw you need. A uh, set of spacer, nut, and the, the black screws. The only extra I added to the kit myself personally is for the nut I added two mil washers. But again, that you don't need to do. I'll already, I'll, I have already done one side of the vehicle. And I still have my uh, 3D printed one on the vehicle itself. Now, there's no instructions that comes with this kit. Basically this plate here, I put it like this instead of like this. If you do put it this way here, that way you don't see the screws here, uh, it will lower them. Basically, I'm sorry, this will be sitting like over here instead. As you grab the plate, this is how I put it on. You could put it that way too. Basically what it does, like I said, it brings it lower. I tried, to, I'm trying to give the most clearance as possible here. Now it doesn't protect my center the diff plate. Uh, it is aluminum. I'm not worried at, to this point. Uh, I just wanted to be able to hug more the body here. Now let's open this up here. And let's remove the old 3D, 3D plate. Now, if you are just installing this and you didn't have the 3D printed ones, basically you need to remove just the two middle screws. The both screws at the end that holds your links at the same time. You don't need to remove those guys. Because this plate only needs the center screws. Now you guys may not be able to see it very well right now. Not much to see. Gonna remove these ones here, put them back in. That way I don't need to mess around with my links. That's one issue I had when I removed the other side. These screws are so small and there's not tons of room to be able to maneuver the links. Make sure to tighten them all the way in. There we go. Now you'll notice on the link, but the link, but the plate they give you. Come on, focus. 
kind of focusing. There's a bigger hole and two small holes. The bigger hole will go over your plate, by your plate, but your first screw here. And the two other ones will align with your middle screws. Like I said, it's a little bit harder to see. But that hole goes over the bolt. That holds your link. Do the back one. Sometimes you might need to wiggle it a bit to bring the screw in. Especially in my case, I have some little bit of tie wraps. Tie strap, tie wrap. I don't know exactly how you say that word. I have one here, I have the other one there. And I do have my power wire going over here. But basically now, the plate's secured to the vehicle. This goes here. They do supply you some... Uh, some bolts and a spacer. Now I'm gonna put the head underneath, that way you don't see the chrome parts. Grab my spacer. And this is where <laughs> Smaller hands would prevail, but for some reason I was lucky. First shot. And to be able to tighten that nut, I'm using my RC four wheel drive center nut driver. They are the same size. Now I don't tighten all the way in. And basically what I do, I just grab it, flip it. And then try to keep it holding the nut and the spacer at the, at the same time. Come on, here we go. And able to bring it in, in the hole. Now you could remove the body off your vehicle too if it's in your way. Now I'm gonna use my other screwdriver. This is the, these bolts are 1.5. And I just lost the nut. Come on. <laughs> I just lost my washer now. This was a lot easier on the other side for some reason.
And there we go. Let's grab this. Tighten it. Now you could put some Loctite on this if you wanted to. For the sake of the video, I'm going to do it later on. And there you have it. Both rock sliders. Now you can hold your vehicle by the rock sliders. That's solid. There you go. And it tucks on the side of the vehicle. That's what I love. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you did like this video, hit the, thumb, uh, the thumbs up or the like button. I do appreciate it and it does help a lot. Thank you for watching.